Hi, Carrie Ann. Thanks for being with us today on Palm Beach Rocks. Nice to see you. How are I? Well, I can't really see you, <laughs> but nice to be here with you. Yes, we do. To the world, we see each other. <laughs> Carrie Ann, I have to say you are one of the best judges on Dancing with the Stars. Well, thank you. We have a great time. Certainly. When you have something to say, I'm all ears. <laughs> thank you. You know, being the only woman on the panel, I try to represent. <laughs> you do a very good job. But what an exciting season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, season 16 has been exciting. It's filled with lots of like emotional highs and lows and, and really um, profound moments of breakthrough and, and some fantastic dancing. And the costumes? I always like to say that to anyone I speak to from your show, those costumes are fabulous. Yeah, they really are. Our costume department and our sort of behind the scenes technical department, they are fantastic. Our crew, we've been doing such experimental pieces like this week when we did Derek's like box thing that went around. That was just unheard of and groundbreaking for television. Yeah, it's really fun to watch. Just the way that you and the rest of the judges interact. And most people probably don't even know how extensive your background is. I mean, you are one of the fly girls. Yeah, I know. A lot of people don't know our history, so because we don't really spend a lot of time talking about the judges on the show. But yeah, I was a fly girl, and I've been dancing and doing television for about uh, 25 years now. So I've been doing it for a long time, whether it's directing or producing and creating and choreographing. I love dancing the most, but um, you know, I've had an injury, so I don't dance anymore. But now I get to do you know a pretty decent job, and I get to sit there and watch dancing all day and give people pointers on how to get better. So I really do enjoy it. Well, I think it's wonderful, and I know we're excited to see who's going to take home that winning spot. Any ideas on this? Well, I don't know. I think that, you know, according to the leaderboard, Zendaya and Kelly are doing really well on the leaderboard. But this is when it gets kind of crazy because we're right nearing the end. And we've seen people lose it in their freestyle. Like they have this really cool idea to them. <laughs> and then they come out and they dance it and it didn't go over so well. So it's very interesting because I've seen people who are at the top of the leaderboard lose it before. So Allie Reisman, Jacoby Jones, they sort of got the hearts of the fans going on. And I think, and also Ingo Rademeyer as well. He's got the big general hospital following. So, you know, it's hard to say because this is when it really becomes more in the hands of the audience. I think the audience gets more nervous the more the dancers get nervous. That's true. And then they're doing like three dances a show. I mean, it gets so challenging for these people. I don't think people out there really know how challenging physically and emotionally it is to be on Dance with the Stars. So I give every single one of our competitors so much props for what they do because it's scary and it's hard work. <laughs> it is true. That's true. So carry on. Talking about working out and keeping in great shape. Let's talk about one of my favorite products, Skinny Cow. Yes, so I am here, I partnered with Skinny Cow to tell you about the Divine Filled Chocolates. They are incredible. Skinny Cow, everybody knows the brand. It's a fantastic brand, and if you haven't tried it, I'm gonna tell you to start off with the Skinny Cow Divine Filled Chocolate Treats. Um, oh, I'm holding it upside down. But it's this is the caramel taste, which is amazing. Each one of these wrappers is filled with 130 calories of divine heaven. Wait, I ate them yesterday. I said, this is crazy, I have to stop. <laughs> you don't have to because there's only 130 calories. That's what's so great. We wanted people to be able to enjoy after working out so hard. Everybody's getting ready for summer. Swimsuit, is, swimsuit season is right around the corner. And I know people are upping their workouts and watching what they eat. This is a great way to still have and um, have or have been able to eat chocolate while still maintaining balance in your diet. And so that's why I love it so much. My favorite personally is the peanut butter cream. So which one is your favorite? Oh no, I totally like the caramel. Oh, you like caramel? Oh, we're having a battle. It's, it's the battle between the caramel no. <laughs> and the peanut butter cream. You must have a great workout regimen. I don't work out that much because I really believe in balance. I work out three times a week and I try not to overdo because when you overdo anything, you throw your body out. Like if you work out too hard, then you're too weak or you're too tired to work out the next day. That's why this is kind of all part of the way I live, which is in balance, you know? You should be able to have chocolate when you want to. You should have your salads for lunch. You should eat healthy for breakfast. But you know, I don't feel that you should go without. And that's what's so great about this. And that's why I partnered with them because I really believe in what their message is and what they're trying to say and what they're giving to all of us women who do work out so hard and try to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Well, what can I say? It's delicious. It's delightful. It's divine. <laughs> That's right. <laughs>